burning questions that people might have if someone they love is dying is, how can I help? It's as simple as that. Um, a lot of us tend to take on the crusader role in, the, in terms that we, in the sense that we, we want to make it better, we want to fix it. Um, so therefore we'll avoid all conversations that are going to talk of the inevitable. Um, because our job is to keep you in good form, keep you in good spirits, keep you positive, keep you fighting, and we're going to fight this together. Um, the last person, funnily enough, we ever ask what might help is the person who's actually dying. And to me, that's where we should begin, uh, with asking the person, you know, is there anything that I can do for you right now? What can be very difficult for people in this situation or in this whole process is that really people are being asked to begin at the end in terms of these huge conversations. Um, what do we mean by beginning at the end? Well, these aren't conversations we have every day um, because we're busy and we tend, when things happen or we have anxieties or problems or difficulties about things, we tend to sweep them under the carpet. You think about how, how much we use social media, we're on the phone, we're distracted, we've got radio, we've got music, we've got all sorts of things in our lives. There is no stillness, there's no silence, there's no period for reflection. I think the one thing that illness gives you is time. And if you suddenly have an awareness that the life and your path in life is drawing to a close, that there's now a time limit on your very existence, that brings up really sharp questions for people, you know, and a lot of the time we can't fix what's happening, we can't change the diagnosis, we can't change the fact that this person is dying or coming to the end of their lives, but we can make a choice and the choice we make is I can be part of this process. What's, what is your biggest concern right now? Is there stuff that you need to do? Can I help you with any of that? Because a lot of the time people might be saying, you know, I don't know what to do with the dog. You know, it could be as simple as that. Or it could be, do you know, I never made my will. You could be just the person who joins the dots. We think it needs to be this huge big gesture that's going to make the person better. Very often it's the simple little things that the person can't physically do for themselves that will actually bring completion or bring peacefulness um, or be the best help. You know, but we're not going to find that out unless we actually ask the question of the person, you know, what matters most to you now?